Um, December 13, 2007, I was refereeing a high school uh, boys varsity basketball game and with five minutes to go in the game, without warning, I went into sudden cardiac arrest and literally just died on the floor right there. Um, they did uh, three rounds of CPR. During that time, somebody ran out into the hall and grabbed a, uh, an AED, brought it in, they put, they put the pads on, um, and this high school student hit the button when it said hit the button, one shock, and, and here I am. Sudden cardiac arrest is a public health crisis a leading killer of Americans that takes the lives of nearly 300,000 people in the U.S. every single year. That's more deaths each year than lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and AIDS combined. In 1979, only 8% of SCA victims survived. Three decades later, today, that low survival rate remains unchanged on a national level. It's time for action. The Heart Rescue Project backed by the Medtronic Foundation, is taking on SCA, along with the leading resuscitation centers in the U.S., all with proven successes. Those centers and heart rescue partners include universities and agencies in Arizona, Minnesota, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Washington. The Heart Rescue Project vision is simple, yet unprecedented. Every American who suffers from sudden cardiac arrest will receive life-saving, state-of-the-art care at the scene, and route to and in the hospital. There's very few things in medicine that are as dramatic as resuscitating someone from certain death. It's hard not to be very excited. The Heart Rescue Project goals are to increase out-of-hospital SCA survival rates by at least 50 percent in the five partner states within five years, improve and standardize SCA response measurement, and to expand proven program successes to entire states and eventually the entire country. I'm really excited because this is the first initiative that coordinates five states um, that will be able to provide the best care currently known and uh, we all share ideas, we all share methods and data so we can actually um, lead to a, a more coordinated approach to attacking this horrible disease. Improving SCA survival rates begins with improving three layers of care, bystander response, pre-hospital response, and hospital response. That bystander CPR is really critical uh, because the fight for life and death is won or lost in the field long before they see me or any other doctor. Uh, well, the first thing you have to do is recognize it. Call 911 and start uh, pressing on the chest. Obviously, if there's an AED around, you get that and, uh, and follow it. The EMS response can be improved by increasing the quality of CPR that first responders and medics provide, as well as by improving the way that they defibrillate and the way that they intubate, as well as by the way they give other life-saving drugs. And then we have the hospital phase. We also know that in the hospital we can do things that will substantially improve survival for patients who gain a, a pulse and blood pressure following cardiac arrest to improve their recovery. And that includes things like therapeutic hypothermia. But no improvements can be made without comprehensive, standardized, and national reporting of SCA response. This emphasis on effective measurement makes the Heart Rescue Project unprecedented. Heart Rescue Partners will collect data on every layer of care for all SCA cases. The reporting will culminate with a national SCA response index in the future. Data collection in sudden cardiac arrest is critical because you can't improve what you don't measure. The Heart Rescue Project really is fundamental. First of all, the public support that the Medtronic Foundation is giving us is so instrumental in making this whole thing work. The second advantage of the Heart Rescue Project is our partners. And we have great partners. We hope to learn from them, and I think together we're really going to pull this off. I think it's incredibly important for this project to reach as many people and raise awareness because it's going to greatly impact the survival rate for sudden cardiac arrest victims. It's going to be significant. The Heart Rescue Project. 
Every second counts. Every action matters.